Hey y'all, pissed off Redneck here. Now today is Wednesday, April 19th. Happy hump day, my sons of bitches. I hope you had a good first half of the week, and I hope the second half of your week is even better. Now I'm making this video today. It's a video I've been wanting to make for a little over three weeks now, but I was, uh, first of all, I was pissed off at the time, and I wanted to cal make sure I was calmed down so I didn't run my mouth, run my suck hole, and get in trouble. Second of all, I was embarrassed. And um, I decided I want to make this video, though. Now, you know what? I'm a dog. Well, I love dogs. Dogs are awesome. They love you no matter what. They're loyal. <coughs> and uh, about two years ago, I had to, we had to put down best dog I ever had. Her, her name was Chloe. She was a pit bull mix. And uh, that dog went everywhere with me. And losing a, a dog like that when a dog dies or you have to put him down, it's like losing a family member. You, you grieve just the same. Um, it is terrible. Um, we did have another, we had two other dogs, though. We had Zeus. He's a full-bred uh, boxer. We've had him uh, since he was a puppy. And uh, he just died three or four weeks ago. A little over a month ago, maybe. He just died of old age. Awesome dog. So we loved him. Loved him. And um, so that meant we were down to one dog. This little Japanese chin. You might have seen him in some of my videos. <coughs> awesome little dog, Taz. Tiny dog with a big-ass personality. Thinks he's badder than hell. Um, kind of rescued him, too. He was just this tiny little puppy. And uh, nobody wanted him. So we... We took him in, and we kept him, and I love that little dog. Never thought I'd like a little dog, but I love that little dog. <coughs> so between Taz not used to not having another dog around, and my daughter being so upset about uh, Zeus dying, she wanted to get another dog right away. I wanted to hold off, but, you know, she started looking and found this dog at the pound. Pitbull mix. This dog looks pitbull as hell, though. Um, named Coco Puff. Coco for short. So I uh, talked it over with her mom, the ki my kid's mom, and uh, they wanted to go look at her. And I said, you know what, I really wasn't ready to get a dog yet, but if you guys want to go look, go ahead and go look. They went and looked at her, fell in love with her. Next step, take our little dog Taz up there to make sure they get along okay. <coughs> took her, took him up there. They got along great, cause he could be a little asshole casserole some bitch, and uh, he gets you know he gets jealous, he gets protective, and like I said, he thinks he's bigger than what he is. And um, we want to make sure that dog wasn't going to put a curve in and swerve and like tear him up. So they got along great. They played. So we took him back in, uh, like a day or two later. They played, got along great again. They decided they wanted to get the dog. So that Friday, I was uh, I was just I, I had class and training I'd been doing for my job, and I was just finishing up that day, like testing for it and stuff. They went and got the dog. They brought Coco home. Coco has been in the pound since last August, and I couldn't believe she was in the pound that long. But I guess they kept her to test the temperament of other dogs. So she comes here. She's a little bit hyper. Cats are scared shitless. They go running. They don't know what to think. They're like, what the hell is this big thing coming in our house? <coughs> she, like I said, she's a little hyper and stuff. Well, um, we had her about three or four hours. My son took her outside to go to the bathroom. And uh, he had to come in the house for something. Well, there's someone else outside, my wife's friend, or my ex-wife's friend, and uh, he was out there, and we were all in the house, and we had this big fenced-in backyard. And you, the dog ain't getting out of that. So the dog was in the fen fenced-in backyard. He decided he was going to open the gate and bring the dog out into the driveway. Now, we live on a, a very busy road where cars are going 55, 60 miles an hour past our house all day long. He lets his dog out, and... Uh, the dog just takes off, sees a car going down the road, takes off running, runs out into the road, and gets hit. All I hear is a car beeping 
And uh, then I hear yelping and, you know, squealing. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Instantly, my daughter goes hysterical. She was crying like you wouldn't believe. My son, he's crying because he felt like it was his fault because he's the one who let the dog in the backyard. Totally not his fault. I had to keep telling him that over and over again. <coughs> my first reaction, I'm not good in those situations, I'm going to admit it, my first reaction was I was pissed. I, I worried about the dog right away, but I was pissed. Why the hell would that person let this dog out of the backyard? So that, per that person ran down the road, taking care of the dog, got a, a blanket or something, wrapped it up. They took the dog to the vet. My kids are hysterical. Uh, their mom and her friend took the uh, dog to the vet. And um, the, I, from what we were being told, the vet said a broken leg. We're, they were going to give us options in the morning, what we had to do. But she's going to be okay. They did x-rays, no internal bleeding, none of that. She's just that broken leg. <coughs> she did get a little bit of her face scuffed up a little bit. So the next morning I get a text saying the dog was up and moving around. She's going to be okay. And I'm thinking, okay, man, maybe they won't even have to do surgery or anything. That's great. Well, here to find out, the two options we had was... To put a titanium pin or screw in the broken leg, but the size of the, her being the size she is, she's a pretty big dog. Chances are she could break it again, and it could it could repeatedly happen. So and and it's quite costly to do this surgery. But when shit like this happens to your pets, you think money's no object. You know what I'm saying? You just want to get them better. The other option, which really about Frickin' knocked me over with amputating the leg. I was like, what the hell? But weighing the two options and uh, knowing that that dog could have uh, problems with that leg the rest of its life and it breaking again, and I'm not even talking about the cost of it, I'm talking about the dog's well being. <laughs> Believe it or not, amputating the leg was the best option. So that's what we did. And, you know, the person who let the dog out of the gate, they took care of all the vet bills. So I give them props for that. At least, you know, I give them props for that. <coughs> so poor Coco. At that time, I'm upset. I'm pissed off. I'm embarrassed. I'm thinking that poor dog would have been better off left in the pound than coming to our house. You know, because I'm just upset. It's just what happened. It's a reaction. So I was all excited that day. I was getting ready to make a video about the dog and getting the dog and rescuing this pit bull from the pound. And then this happened. And then, you know, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't share on Facebook with anybody that we got the dog or anything because I was embarrassed. I didn't want people thinking that, you know, we're uh, neglectful or bad pet owners. But I know it's not our fault. We didn't do anything wrong. We were doing everything right. It's just someone else didn't use the best uh, judgment. So, she got her leg amputated. She had uh, staples in for two weeks. She was on meds for two weeks. And uh, she got her staples out after two weeks, off the meds. And I'm telling you what, she's a great dog. She gets around good. She still tears ass around the backyard. <coughs> she is just such a good dog. Uh, the little dog, she could be eating, you know, a bowl of canned dog food mixed with some dry dog food. And that little dog walk right over that bowl, she doesn't even care. She doesn't growl, nothing. She also, uh, you know, she doesn't get shitty about her food with uh, people, with us or anything. She's a really good dog. So um, that's my story about Coco. The pictures in the thumbnail, they are her. They are really her. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's the story about Coco. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I feel really good that we did rescue a pit bull from the from the pound. I feel terrible about what happened. It, it, you know, but at least she's alive and she's going to lead a normal, healthy life. And uh, she gets spoiled. She's spoiled every day. She'll be spoiled her whole life. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, please don't bash me too hard if you. 
you know, I don't mind you saying that, hey, that's messed up, but just don't bash me too hard. <coughs> okay, people, it's Wednesday. Doctor's in video Friday. Let's get those uh, questions in. We need weird, crazy, sexy questions. We need them in now. Leave them in the comments of this video or any other videos this week, or leave them on my Twitter at Hoppy69 using hashtag AskThatGuy with capital A. The better the questions, the better the video. If you don't know what my Doctor's In videos are, I do them every Friday. Check them out. Check them out on my channel. Um, they are very adult-oriented, though, so if you're offended easy, might not be the videos for you. So let's get those questions in, people. I got a couple so far. We need, a, we need you know, at least six, seven more. Okay, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get some subscribers. Uh, I'm going to do something crazy for 2,500 subscribers. Hit that thumbs up, son of a bitch. Give me a like. Share my videos. Help me get my knowledge out there. I'm always dropping knowledge. Follow me on Twitter, Hoppy69. I'll put my uh, P.O. box in the description down below for any kind of YouTube mail, YouTube stickers. If you want to send me a letter, a card, a picture, whatever. And, uh... My sons of bitches, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Happy hump day. My sons of bitches, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'm always thankful for my sons of bitches. Now you guys go have a good day. Get her done.